All right. Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So look, today we're talking about Trump and Elon Musk, man. They had a, a a very interesting discussion on X in the spaces. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get into that. Hey, man, this is Sketchpad. Listen, if you want to donate, link's right on the page. You know what I'm saying? Also, too, if you want us to react to your stuff, that's on the page, too, as well. And, uh, yeah, man, just make sure you like the uh, the content. Subscribe, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I see the subscribers going up still. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it going. We're trying to reach 13,000. Thank y'all very much. Look, so we're going to talk about Trump today and Elon Musk. So Trump and Elon Musk had a spaces last night, and it broke the Internet. I mean, 24 million people on and everybody was I believe everybody was muted except for them two. you know what I'm saying but they had a late start because they ran into they Elon said that it was a cyber attack so basically what they mm-hmm. did was whoever somebody who don't like Trump or whatever they flooded all the servers with a bunch of bots or whatever you want to call it they just flooded the servers so since they flooded the servers, they couldn't get on. It's kind of like, you know how, like, let's say Game of Thrones came out and everybody went to HBO to try to watch it and they couldn't get on. That's kind of what they did. They bombarded the ser- the servers. It could have been so many people was trying to get on at one time. You know what I'm saying? It could have been that. But he said it was a cyber attack. Somebody did something. But they got that situation fixed. They started about 45 minutes later. But still in all, it still came out good. So they did a date. They, they talked, they just talked about regular stuff and some politics sprinkling here and there, but it wasn't an interview. It was more on the lines of Trump speaking on things that he's going to do or things that happen. Just stuff, two, two buddies talking like two, two guys, friends talking. That's basically what it, that's basically what it really was. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. not to say that these guys are like, buddy buddy friends but that's basically what it was two people talk Mm -hmm. so here's what i think about this and i don't know if you want to go first you want to go you want to talk about it or what you want to do i'll say a few things um uh from what you described and from what i heard you know what i mean it just seems to me it's just two two entrepreneur business-minded individuals just shooting the shit just talking regular stuff, you know, life, business, of course. You get two Mongols together, they always gonna talk business. Um, I, I believe there was some politics in there too. They gonna probably talk politics, you know, and then some other stuff sprinkled in between, you know? Um, that's how I look at it. Um, uh, is anything gonna come from this? Who knows, you know? You know, Trump always has an ace up his sleeve. So, you know what I mean? It, it, it's, there's no there's no doubts about that. He always has an ace up his sleeve. So if anything comes from this, don't be surprised, you know, because he's already uh, basically planting seeds. You know, you could say that if this is even one of the plant seeds that he wants to plant. But I'm just saying when I feel like when when Trump meets up with with high-minded business individuals is always a motive behind it. Not 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 saying anything bad. It's always some sort of business motive behind it. That's how I'm looking at it. You know what I mean? Because I just feel like, you know, he's not going to brush noses with just anybody. That's Elon Musk. You know what I mean? If you talk about money, like Elon Musk got that. You know, so let's see. Let's see what happens. Um, I think that, uh, I think at this point, Trump has a strategy and he's running his campaign. Excuse me. He's running his campaign like a, like a true boss. I think that this, campaign run by Trump is probably the best ran campaign I've ever seen in politics this year here 
So let's just go through the timeline real quick. When he first started, he had all these different cases, right? Mm -hmm. All these different cases, uh, 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 96 counts of of, uh, this and this and that. Georgia case, the case in uh in 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 uh in, in Washington D.C., the case in New York. He, he had another case, more the Mar-a-Lago, what's the name case, the uh the classified documents case, the Stormy Daniels case, the the hmm. the other case, the the Fannie Willis case, the the hmm. fake electors case. Hmm. He gets past all of them. All of them. All of them are gone. Then someone shot him in the face. Got shot. Almost died. Will he do? Jump up and pump his fist. Like I ain't no bitch. Fight, fight, fight. I just don't see how that's not one of the greatest campaigns ever. Like this guy to me, I could understand why he's people's hero. I could understand why. Because the thing is, You go through all that and you still standing. This man is still standing. Whether whether we could say, people could say it was manufactured, we don't know. We just going off of what we see. This man is still standing. They threw everything at this guy. Mm -hmm. You could understand why he's a hero to people. Mm Mm-hmm. Whether you say he deserved it or not, some people feel as though he didn't. Also did the January 6th shit. Forgot about that too. We forgot about that. So it's like, now he has a conversation with Elon Musk and what the the mainstream media does, they didn't even, this is why I fucking absolutely hate the mainstream media. I hate the mainstream media. 100%. What did they do? They didn't even talk about what the man talked about. They did everything in their power to discredit the man by saying, oh, he was slurring his words. Oh, him and Mm -hmm. Elon Musk had, they talked about things that was of no substance. Oh, him and Elon Musk said absolutely nothing. It was just a stupid conversation. Two billionaires just out there picking on people. Oh, like nobody actually listened and said, yeah, these guys are talking about something that means something because they were. They was just shooting the shit, but the politics did come up and Trump said, listen, Ukraine, that would have never happened. That would have never happened. Because when I was in office, none of this happened. And he's absolutely right. When Trump was in office, none of these wars were happening. None of them. So I think that at this point, we got to give Trump his respect. Because what are you going to say now? What are you going to say now? He didn't break no laws. He didn't he didn't do anything to make anything. The media spins everything into a, a thing where they make it seem like Trump is the stupidest guy ever, but he's also the smartest guy ever for some reason. Mm-hmm. So at this point, him and Elon Musk had that conversation and there was a lot to digest. I listened to the whole thing. It's two hours long. And it's worth the listen. I'm going to tell you right now. So basically that's it. That's all I have to say. So.
don't know if you got anything else. If not, then we out of here. Nah, I don't got too much else. All right, man. Look, Sketchpad Podcast, you know what it is. See y'all. Peace. Bye.